Well, it's it's rare when I do one of these that we see some shit we have not seen before. Really? What? What? Did you put? No, 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 no! You started it. Come here. Oh, you start screaming at me. But this <laughs> this week, this week we have stories shit I've not seen before, and I'm a little impressed and unsettled. What are you doing? You came up here. You started screaming. You, sc you scream and you get picked up. That's how this works. He looks so pouty now. I don't want, I don't want to get picked up. I want treats. Stupid human. Poor Grady. We're such a constant source of disappointment to our cats, aren't we? I don't think I've ever got this on a live. A live one before. Are you going to? Yeah. There we go. Oh, the purring. He purr, he loud. He loud and purring. Yeah, he acts like he doesn't want to be picked up. He gets up here, he starts purring like crazy. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they get. What? They gotta play hard to get. <sighs> okay, buddy. Hey, Peggy likes to play keep away. <laughs> so, because you're only allowed to pay, pet, Peggy, pet Peggy if she's sitting down. If, if she's standing up, you cannot pet her. She will run away from you. <sighs> So all day, every time a human comes near, she runs away. And then she'll stop and wait for you to come after her. You're supposed to chase her. All right. Well, let's actually get underway. Let's get the intro rolling. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead, our audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And uh, we're going we're gonna to just go through each one to just increasing upping the stakes as it were this week how we like to um, do it let's let's start with uh, our first story nobody wants to go to jail that's that's kind of a universal constant nobody wants to go to jail but you know when you've gone to jail you've kind of got to go through jail that that's how that works you, there there's it there's it's not optional yeah you don't get to be like you know what this sucks i'm leaving <laughs> Oh, it's fun you say that, Tara. Um, see, I, I want to point out, jail is not, if you're not familiar with the American system, jail is not where you go after you are convicted. Jail is where you go where they try to figure out if you're guilty or not. Right. It's prison. Right. You go so, to after you're convicted. This, at this point in the story, he has not been convicted of any crime. Then this happened. Inmate falls through ceiling trying to escape Indiana jail. <sighs> you you made it worse. You Like, look, I know that works in the movies. They do it all the time. They like also in the movies, if you shoot a car in the bumper, it explodes. That's not how that works either. Right. Like ceiling tiles cannot actually bear your weight. Just because Bruce Willis did it doesn't mean you can. An inmate is facing additional charges after officials say he attempted to escape an Indiana jail but fell through the ceiling. Sheriff Rick Meyer posted to Facebook on February 5th that officers were taking 28-year-old Blaze Ayers. Blaze Ayers! Blaze! You your kid, what? Your kid is, you name your kid that, your kid is either going to be a professional wrestler or in jail. Um... Those are the two life paths. He's taking Blaze to his holding cell from the indoor recreation area when he tried to escape. When officers say Ayers was close to his cell, Ayers ran into a medical room and not locked the door behind him. Officers went through an adjacent room, entered the medical room, but Ayers had made his way into the ceiling. Ayers refused to come down. And obey officers' orders, causing damage to the ceiling, and eventually fell through the ceiling and hit the fucking area floor. Which is what's going to happen. <clears throat> he was treated for minor injuries and charged with attempted escape, criminal mischief, m mischief, mischief, along with other charges. There is no estimate of the damages at this time. What did you think was going to happen? <coughs> 
Even if you didn't fall through the ceiling, where were you going? So inmate, come down. No. Well, I guess he won. Yeah. Oh, He's, man. He said, what do we do now? He said no. He's Shit. in the ceiling now. Like, where were you going to go? <laughs> Did you have a layout of the building tattooed <laughs> on the inside of your eyelids or something? He was going to dig up. And again, we gotta see. Here's here's the mugshot. Um, he, he looks really annoyed that that didn't work. Also, what happened with your hair, Blaze? <laughs> he has like little bangs, but the rest is buzzed. But there's a hole. <laughs> so, so, do did you have an accident with with the the clippers? Because. You know what? If you have that kind of accident, you just got to buzz it. That's right. Yeah. You just got to do it. It's just got to go. It's got to go. <laughs> like, Dan wasn't paying attention at the barber once, and he meant to tell them what? Like a two on the sides and a four on the top? Two on the sides and just leave the top long. And I, I, don't, said, I don't know how two. to. And he just said, yeah, number two. And when they did this strip, he realized what he said. <laughs> but there's no going back then. No, there isn't. <laughs> No, leave no, it. No, I'll just go with a reverse mohawk. <laughs> that only works for that dude from The Prodigy. <laughs> and not even really that great for him. Uh, all right. Well, we have even more. Um, I Have you ever gone to a store and they're out of something you want? Yes. What do you do? Um, I go home and cry. No, I usually just... If it's something I desperately need, I go somewhere else. Otherwise, well, that's fucking life. Um, I noticed nowhere. Think, throw feces at the person behind the counter. Probably something. I, I definitely don't do whatever we're about to read about somebody yeah. doing. I, I noticed nowhere in your answer was the word baseball bat. No. Nope. New York woman resorts to baseball bat after patty not available. A woman who couldn't get a beef patty at a favorite New York eatery used a baseball bat in protest. <laughs> On Saturday, police released surveillance video of the woman in action in the Bronx, smashing... It's the fucking Bronx. <laughs> smashing a restaurant's windows after learning the eatery had run out of her favorite food. It's Yankees country, man. <laughs> it's barely civilization. Please say the woman at the back home restaurant in the uh, Morsania neighborhood came in on the afternoon of January 15th and ordered a patty. She was told they'd run out and she got upset. Authorities say she left and came back to the Jamaican restaurant with the bat. The woman shows the, the video shows a woman bashing into windows. She fled and police are still searching for her. That's not going to make them have the beef patty. It's that's not it's do you think they were lying to you? No, <laughs> that is, like I, but people do, though, like I can't tell you how many times in my beers of work in retail. True. The Bronx does have Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, but they also have the Yankees. So it's like, can she undo that much evil? I don't know. But people ask you, like, do you have a thing? No, I'm sorry. We're out. Well, can you check the back? Sure, I can go get a sip of my drink and it's, pretend I checked the back because I know we don't have it. And they and then they go and ask someone else, and I'm like, I just want to walk up and be like, listen, it's my job to sell you things. If you don't buy things, my job is in jeopardy, or they cut my hours or whatever because we're not making money. And they say go check the back. It's like they think it's like the warehouse from Indiana Jones back there. It's like the size of this desk. The yeah, back. the back. Yeah, but. Like, there's no logical reason I would hide merchandise from you. That makes no sense. Shade says, why must peop people be so combative? <laughs> Did the Bronx give us Cardi B? She and AOC might be able to combat the Yankees. They, th that might balance out. Oh, this is, this is not a good thing to go to jail for. I mean... Oh. She, Kids. What are you in for? They didn't have any beef patties. 
Okay. I mean, could you just, okay. Do you think they were like hoarding them? Like, it's, what's this, like the soup Nazi or some shit? They want, and if this is a small business, they want to sell you things. Yeah. They, you. they want you to buy something because literally their livelihood depends on it. They're not hiding them from you. I mean, it's just, it, 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 like, okay, you know, uh, all right, that's fine. You won't sell me this. I'm going to smash your fucking windows. This is a good transaction. It's not a proportionate response. No. And you're not going to get a beef patty in jail. I don't think the food's that good. No, it's not. I don't think they have Jamaican food. No. They have slop. All right. This next one is... Ooh, um, I'm going to warn folks on the YouTube. You might just want to pass right over and skip ahead. You might want to skip this one. Because I know this is going to hit... This one's going to hit some buttons. I, your skin, get ready for some crawly skin, is what I'm saying here. Um, so you, we're gonna do that to the live audience, but not the YouTube. Oh yeah, live. They know what they signed up for. My, like I read the YouTube comments. They fucking deserve it. They bought their tickets. I say let them crash. Goddamn right. Um, lawyers forces evacuation of courthouse after abundance of bed bugs. <sighs> pour from his suit oh and oh i told you i told you an oklahoma abundance like how many an oklahoma courthouse was forced to evacuate after a nonchalant lawyer arrived to a courtroom with a quote abundance of bed bugs falling out of his clothing rogers county courthouse was evacuated and eventually closed monday after a lawyer brought in the blood-sucking insects to a third-floor courtroom. Rogers County Sheriff Scott Walton told KJRH News the man had bugs literally crawling all over him. Sheriff told News on 6 another person in the courtroom was the first to spot the biting insects. Quote, a courthouse user noticed them and said she could visibly see something crawling on his neck. Which was later found to be bed bugs. He had also placed his jacket over some file folders, and when his jacket was moved, bed bugs were discovered there. Rogers How County Court. No. Rogers County Courthouse head of security Mike Clark said the man was very nonchalant about the situation full unfolding in the courtroom. I don't think he even cared. Clark Cold. Really? Yeah. Uh, pest control was called in once the building was empty of people. And I, 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 I hate who wrote this. Adam Frisk. Adam Frisk, the final line of the story is, it was definitely an original way to bug the room. <laughs> what if that was your lawyer? Right? <laughs> if I have a bug on me, if I have one bug on me, I feel that shit a week later. <laughs> a week later, I'm like, oh God, I can still feel it crawling. Like, just to be covered in mm, mm. Hot, hey uh your honor i need to make a motion uh don't mind them they're uh they're my associates uh, they, they're getting paid by the hours isn't that cheap did you ever see the movie version of midnight in the garden of good and evil or read the book i did the flies good yeah, the, the guy with all the flies on colored thread tied to him yeah, this is this is a. Was it, he was a lawyer. No, he was a jurist. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Um. Side note: Anyone out there, if you haven't seen Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, yes, I know Kevin Spacey. Read the book if you need to. That is Savannah. I lived there. That is exactly what it's like to live in Savannah. It's amazing. If you object to Kevin Spacey and or John Cusack, just fuck it and read the book. The book is great. Yeah, it's just it's crazy. Anyway, this. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it just your lawyer comes how does this happen? And it's not this is not like somebody who's lacking for, you know, any he's a lawyer. Right. You gotta at least be making dry cleaning money. He's got a job. This is a job that you pay money. Even if he's a public defender, this is a job. Are we sure he wasn't one of those cockroach aliens for Men in Black. Oh, Your Honor, <laughs> want to make a motion? Her, her. It was like it was, it was like an egg or shoot. 
It was Egger. Egger shoot. I just... <laughs> that, is, that is just some... And yeah. John Cusack, he's kind of a douchebag. Look at his bit. Twitter. He's a little bit of a douchebag, yeah. Um, but it just in general, this that's real, and they're hard to get rid of. Yeah. The, oh God! You, at that point, it's like, look, we could burn the place down, and maybe we'll get maybe like, maybe like, we'll get rid of them. Courtrooms don't have a lot of soft surfaces. Usually, they don't have a lot of upholstery, so that might be helpful, but. Anybody's clothes that they were wearing that day, you should probably get rid of them. Like I heard, it's a, really hard to get rid of. I heard of this American Life story about bed bugs once, and they got rid of all the the, the mattresses, all the sheets, yeah. every every soft surface, and they still didn't get rid of the fucking yeah. things. Like if you get them in your house, you should probably just burn the house down. Mm -hmm. And I know we say fire is not a form of pest control. You get bug bugs in your house, that's the exception. Just burn the house down. Yeah, because they're never going away. Because that's your life now. Bed bugs are forever. Yeah. Um, let's move on to the next one. You know what? I we give the younger generations a lot of shit sometimes. We, we do because we're old and crotchety. Yeah. Uh, I guess these kids would fall under Gen Z. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. But it I don't like even know. I'm still not sure where I am. Am I a millennial? I don't know. I don't know either. Are my Gen Y? No. I don't. Whatever, man. But these these would fall under uh under Gen Z. So um, they've grown up in a certain kind of world that we didn't have. Like you know, we all have smartphones now. They grew, they've always had smartphones. We all have yeah. always have like Netflix and stuff like that. We always had Uber. So my I, nieces and nephews have never lived in America not at war. I I can so. If you've never grown up without stuff like Uber, I can kind of understand where this plan went, but that doesn't make it a very good plan. Um, Millennials are born star. Okay, so I'm not a millennial. Arm okay. teens. Arm teens arrested at Metro Bank. Call Uber to get away. Oh, honey. <laughs> Oklahoma City, an Uber driver says he's feeling lucky after a seemingly normal ride request led him to a scene swarming with police. <laughs> Tuesday afternoon, multiple officers reported to the Midfirst Bank on North May Avenue. Also called to the scene was Uber driver Brandon Case. Unbeknownst to him, another Uber driver dropped off his would-be passengers, then called police. Three, three teenagers told the calling party they had a gun, they walked into the bank. They said they were about to get popped, a dispatcher can be heard saying. I turn the corner, come up on Midfirst Bank. All I see are cop cars. I'm like, this is not normal. Really? No. Oklahoma City police haven't released the identities of the people involved, nor they outline what happened when the individuals walked into the bank. Case, thinking he was waiting for his would-be passengers, watched it all unfold from across <laughs> the street. He said he thought he saw three people handcuffed and put into cop cars. That, he says, when an officer walked across the street to talk to him. I say, did somebody rob a bank? He said, well, attempted. Okay, said, they called me for a getaway car. If you're going to do something like that, have your own car. That's good I, advice. You see, have your own car. If you watch a heist movie, any heist, I'm not even talking, I'm not going to blame them for being young and not seeing heist movies. Baby Driver just came out. Yeah. One of the essential elements of a heist and the getaway driver is they have to be in on it. Right. You can't just grab somebody and say, hey, welcome to crime. I mean, you can, but that's carjacking. That is that is carjacking, yes. That, that is, yes. You have to be ready to commit a separate and additional felony. I just, I love how they're like, well, this is a thing we can do. Uber will get us out of here, right? That's how no, Uber they, works. No, there is no app for getaway cars. There is no getaway Yet. car app. Give the Fire Festival guys a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> but as of now, there is no getaway car app. No, it's not. We, have, we haven't disrupted bank robberies yet. No. <laughs> I just, I, I love that they were like, well, we got an Uber here. We can get an Uber away. Yeah, yeah. we're fine. No. No, baby. <laughs> That's not how that works. He, heaven the channel says, I hope these kids get the bed bug lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Sendai guy says, Uber's a bigger thief than we are. We'll use them. A point. Yeah. He's got a point. He's got a fucking point. 
why not? Yeah, I mean, hey, we're all in this together. We're all kind of, you know. But that's not really the driver's fault. Though. It's not, no. Like, that's at the top level, and the CEO isn't the guy picking you up. You're just fucking over the little guy. I just, it, I don't understand how... Why? What incentive has the getaway driver got here, you know? We'll give you five stars. <laughs> no. Oh. You know what? I'll take the no stars. You just go ahead and give me no stars, and I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. But Thanks. let's... We're not just going to make fun of the kids this week, because we have one, not one, but two of the oldster stories. Ooh, um, one for you. Fucking boomers, man. Um... I'm not a fucking boomer. <laughs> you were born in a different decade than me. <laughs> uh -huh. So this one, this one comes to us from Utah. Oh God. Um, there are ways to spend your birthday. You just had a birthday. You had you I did. just Sephora, and that was nice. That sounds cool. Um, this is not a good way to spend your birthday. Utah driver accused of fleeing, mooning, flipping. An Emory man was charged Monday with marking his 66th birthday by attempting to hit other vehicles on the road, mooning drivers, and flipping off a police officer. I mean, I did all of that, too. <laughs> I just didn't get caught. Dennis Dwayne Butler... <laughs> Dennis Wayne Butler of Moore is charged in 7th District Court with assault on a peace officer, second degree felony, three counts of aggravated assault, failure to stop for police, three degree felonies, plus looting, deeds, and theft, class B, misdemeanor, sign, and shit, bam, man, down, and You've turned into boom horror. <laughs> Friday afternoon, which was Butler's 66th birthday, according to court records, he attempted to that hit. Explains. What? That explains it. He turned the two thirds of the number of the beast. <laughs> He attempted to hit three trucks with his own vehicle on a dirt road. Vehicles had to swerve off the road to avoid being hit. The drivers wrote in a sworn statement, the man tried to hit them, ran them off the road, and at one point ripped a sign that belonged to Castle Valley Outdoors off a post and stole it. <laughs> they also said at one point the man took his pants down and bent over, showing his bare buttocks to them. Speaking of those drivers, Emory County Sheriff's noticed a vehicle coming toward him He'd have to turn on the overhead lights on his patrol car, but the driver kept coming. The driver was traveling 58 miles per hour at that point. The vehicle got closer, did not slow down, was going to hit me head on, so I moved my vehicle almost all the way off the road. Deputy Chase Butler, with speeds close to 100 miles per hour, the chase ended when Butler drove to his home in Moore, parked, then ran into a shed. <laughs> After several minutes, the deputy was able to talk Butler into peacefully surrendering. During the conversation with the driver when he was in the shed, he told me he did not care who I was and what I wanted, and that's why he wouldn't stop for me. Well! Here, your birthday is not the purge. <laughs> Like, you don't just get freebies on crime for your birthday. That's not how society works. Like, it's my birthday. Can't touch me. No, baby. No. Wheel in the channel says, sir, please get out of the shed. No, you're just going to yell at me. <laughs> you, don't, <laughs> you don't get a get out of jail free card for your birthday. You don't. It's like, why did you steal this? Up? Why did you move? What the fuck? Why are you going to run people over? What the hell? You don't get to murder people because it's your birthday. No. Like, I'm... No! <laughs> I'm sorry you're getting up there in years, sir. Admittedly, if I got to 60... The, the closer I get to 66, the less I give a fuck to. Let's be Please honest. don't run people over. I'll think about it. I'll Please think don't, about it. Don't, don't do that. I'll consider it. Grady needs you. He's not going to be around when I'm 66. Might. He would be... 20-something? 20 27? Yeah. Might be more than that. It yeah. could happen. 
Yeah, he's actually. <laughs> have my Methuselah cat be like, <laughs> no, Nash, you gotta he's stay. Daddy, he's gonna be the one running people over. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have fucking uh, uh, All right. Well, our last one. Hey, if you thought that, but wait, what's worse than one boomer not giving a fuck? All of them voting? Well, close. A whole bunch of them not giving a fuck. Bingo brawl at nursing home. Prompts police response when a bingo related dispute. Think OPP to show up? <laughs> Ontario Provincial Police. Oh, all right. <laughs> Where I'm from, that means something different. And I was excited. <laughs> when a bingo related dispute heated up at a long term care facility in Rideau Lake. Uh, officers had to be called in. It began when a 79-year-old woman took a seat uh, normally used by an 86-year-old woman. Yeah. Um, the ensuing argument between the two women then escalated into a physical altercation. Other residents got involved, turning the situation into something of a brawl. Now, I just want you all, everyone here at home, on the YouTubes, watching live, I want you all to stop for a moment and close your eyes. And imagine nursing home battle royale just for a moment. Just have that beautiful moment in your mind when the fuckers have got the canes and the walkers and those little stands with the saline on it. And, and they're row troll dolls. Just going to fucking town. The bingo people do not fuck around. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have worked bingo. Holy shit. Those bitches take that shit serious. Like, <laughs> they do not fuck around. They have fucking, they do ritual sacrifice. <laughs> don't fuck with the bingo. I'm you just, don't get to sit in some other chick's seat because she will kill I'm you. I'm sitting <laughs> I'm sitting there picturing Mean Gene giving color commentary. Agnes is coming off the top turnbuckle. I almost I started just... a riot of bingo because <laughs> they gave me the job of <laughs> taking the ball out of the machine and handing it to the caller. I had to do this. And I guess I wasn't picking the right balls. It's kind of a late motif in my life. I never picked the right balls. <laughs> Except for you, baby. And all the little ladies got real mad and they started screaming that I wasn't old enough to operate that machine. And I'm like, I'm doing this. I don't know what qualifications I need for that. I mean, yes, I'm only 16, but I learned how to do this at age four. <laughs> and they had to take me off pulling the balls because the old ladies were getting fucking mad and there was going to be a problem. Reality Breaker in the channel says the first rule of bingo night is you do not talk about bingo night. No, they don't fuck around. I'm telling you, they come with, it used to be troll dolls. It's probably something else now, but they have like all their little fucking totems <laughs> that they lay out like an altar. They're scary. I got. I, I will point out, no one was seriously injured. Paramedics were not required, but I'm just still loving the idea of Grandma Smackdown. Yeah, that if you know what, if the WWE their ratings ever start slipping, it's something to consider. <laughs> Old ladies, Grandma Smackdown. I mean, Would didn't you that one oh, it's website do like homeless dude fights and? Well, yeah, but you know, you you hit eighty. What the fuck do you care? You have nothing to fucking lose. Just, just breaking a hip could kill you at that age. Okay, yeah, okay, that's the point. Like, literally, breaking a hip could kill you. That's a, We can pad them. We can, like, you know, put, like, gear on them. They'll oh, be you fine. You want to do, like, the sumo suits? Yeah, that'll be, that'll be, oh! Oh! Ladies <laughs> in sumo suits? Oh, I want to start a YouTube channel. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is a million dollar idea. Fuck you, fine brothers. This is a million dollar idea. Oh. No. I feel like no, in today's... Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't. Please don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. I feel like in today's climate, it might be frowned upon. <laughs> to 
to make old ladies fight for money. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, I just, I'm sorry, but the story itself, I just picture it in my mind. <laughs> oh. It's amazing. It's ballroom blitz. I just, <laughs> there's Juliet standing on the table. Swinging around her four, or the walker with the tennis balls on the bottom. <laughs> Anarchy! They're they're doing that move from Black Panther with some old man's toupee. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is bingo ain't no joke. Mm -mm. Fucking bingo is no joke. Um, we've learned that a birthday is not a get out of jail free card. No. It's just why it's <laughs> hitting the shed. What the fuck? We've learned that the getaway driver needs to be in on the heist. That's a vital yeah. element of the heist. It's 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 a long standing. And if none tradition. of you are old enough to drive, maybe you're too young for a bank heist. <laughs> I didn't even consider that. These little bastards are like fourteen, fifteen. I'd be laughing my ass off. Yeah. It said teens. <clears throat> it's true. We've learned that if there are bugs all over you, maybe shower, maybe that. Like, I, like if your house get bed bugs, your income status doesn't matter because your life is ruined. Yes, I, fucking I get bed that. Bugs are the worst. But I would sooner like shower. And go out and buy new clothes on my way to court. I would shave everything. Then just show up covered in bugs. Like, I would shave all of every all. I would shave everything. I would fuck shave it. I would just like take a bath in there. I would come out looking like the guy in in the wall when Pink comes <laughs> the fucking island. <laughs> Shit. You know, if you need to raise money for your licensing... No. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've learned that if you, if, the, if you can't get the food you like, a baseball bat, it's not going to get it for you. No. In fact, the store is going to be closed because they have to pay for new windows. So you're and not... you're going to be in jail. You're going to be in jail. And finally, we've learned if you're in jail already... The best move is to wait it out. Just quit while you're behind, man. <laughs> yeah, talk to your lawyer. Do what I, Try and find a way to make bail. Okay, those are options. Committing more crimes. Mm -mm. You're not... Just take, the, just take the L. Take the L. <laughs> Sir, come down. No! No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm thinking of a Christmas story. He's under the cabin again. He wants milk. 